Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Auto Focus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A compact SUV from Ford, the newly launched 2021 Territory 1.5L Titanium Plus CVT, and a mid-sized crossover SUV from Mazda, the CX-8 Signature. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two mid-sized pickup trucks, the 2019 Chevrolet Colorado Trail Boss, and the 2020 Isuzu D-Max Boondock. On Autopedia, we'll talk about the importance of following your vehicle's preventive maintenance schedule. And together, with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the regional launch of the all-new Land Rover Defender as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus, and we're right back after this short break. Part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020-2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now! Live Extra with the new Mitsubishi Expander Cross. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Ford. If you're looking to buy a new car these days, even in these seemingly difficult times, it's hard to go all in immediately on newly launched vehicles. It seems with every new launch online, of course, car distributors are upping up the ante, putting every conceivable new tech or upgrades, all that price points that is really hard to resist. The latest is the Ford Territory. Watch this. To car aficionados, especially those who sport blue oval tattoos, if not on their real skin, at least in their minds, the Territory is unmistakably a Ford. Even without seeing the badge, they can tell it's a Ford SUV that's zipping past them on the road, or even seeing it at a parking lot from the corner of their eyes. It's not quite overt, but there are hints of the Explorer and the Echo Sport in the all-new Ford Territory, the small or mini SUV developed by Ford Motor Company in partnership with Jiangling Motors Corporation of China. After all, Ford Design Studio in Melbourne, Australia was deeply involved in the design of the Territory. Classified as a small or mini sport utility vehicle, 
the Ford Territory, has arrived in the Philippines, ready to stake a huge claim in its first destination market in the region. And it appears quite ready to do that. It may be called small, just 4,580 millimeters long, 1,936 millimeters wide, and 1,674 millimeters at its highest point with a 180 mm ground clearance. But the territory is big in terms of external and interior features. Outside, the framing and design of features taken individually may not immediately speak blue oval, the gloss black with chrome inserts in titanium plus, the all LED headlamps, front and rear fog lamps, tail lamps, the power adjustable, power folding, heated side mirrors with integrated turn lights, the chrome door handles, shark's fin antenna, rear spoiler, roof rails, the 18 inch alloy wheels wrapped by 235 by 50 R18 tires. But taken together, they somehow speak Ford built tough and stylish. But perhaps one of the coolest things in the territory is panoramic roof that can hide the sky or reveal it with a push of a button. It's no longer quite as astonishing as it once was, but the smart keyless entry with push button start remains cool for getting into a car with key in pocket. And to start the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine in the territory with just a finger. Just 1,490 cc of displacement and four cylinders, but it packs 143 horses from 4,500 to 5,200 revolutions per minute and more than generous 225 newton meters of torque at 1,500 to 4,000 RPM. A very flexible power range, perfect for the continuously variable transmission with sport mode that drives the front wheels. Inside the surprisingly roomy cabin, it's 3,200 liters of space with well padded seats upholstered in perforated leather. Most everything touched feels soft, including door panels and trim, the center console, the leather wrapped steering wheel that tilts and telescopes. The front seats can be heated or cooled. The driver can adjust seats electronically 10 ways four manual adjusts for the front passenger. The rear seat can accommodate three comfortably. The seat back splits and folds 60-40. Of course, it's power much everything. Windows, central door locks that lock automatically with speed. There, too, is an air conditioning system with automatic temperature control. But it's the modern touches of new personal mobility in the territory that slay the competition. The 10 inch fully digital display for the instrument cluster with three design themes from standard to sporty to something in between. The 10 inch touchscreen with adjustable quad view for the infotainment system that can connect with Apple CarPlay and Android audio. It's got USB ports, three for charging and one for data. You don't even need the USB port if your smartphone or device supports wireless charging. And it plays through eight speakers. Even the auto dimming rear view mirror comes with a USB port. Other touches seem superfluous, but certainly welcome. Seven cup and bottle holders, ambient lighting with seven colors, and cabin air filter, which in the titanium is for pollen with activated carbon and PM 2.5 fabric filter. On the road, the territory can be a joy to drive. It has gone through intensive testing for ride, handling, and NVH levels at both Geelong Proving Grounds in Melbourne, Australia, and at Ford's testing centers in Nanjing, China. The suspension with front McPherson struts and rear multi-link system seem perfectly tuned and balanced to provide good handling and comfort, especially for the streets of Metro Manila. The brake system, front vented and rear solid discs provide assured stopping power and control. The territory comes with a host of advanced driver assist technology, auto brake hold function, anti-lock brake system, electronic brake force distribution, traction control, hill launch assist for when you're caught hanging on steep ascents. 
The Titanium also gets Adaptive Cruise Control with Forward Collision Warning, Lane Departure Warning, Blind Spot Information System using High Definition 360 Degree Cameras, Parking Sensors Front and Back. Other safety features are 3-point ELR seatbelts for 5, with the driver and front seat passenger getting pretensioners, child seat isofix anchorage points, and 6 airbags. All these goodies, Ford styling, excellent handling in the Territory Titanium Plus, come with a very competitive sticker price of 1,299,000 pesos. The Ford Territory just gave would undecided SUV buyers a headache, which can be suited by Ford's offer of a free three-year scheduled service plan for those who choose a territory on or before September 15, 2020. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. The Mitsubishi Mirage. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back to Autofocus. And we now have the latest auto industry news. Maserati now has three trofeos. The first was the Levante Trofeo, the super SUV with the made from Maranello V8 engine launched in 2018 to raise the bar for luxury SUV in performance, sportiness, and luxury. In a recent virtual global debut, Maserati unveiled the Trofeo variants of the Quattro Porte, the four-door full-size luxury sports saloon, and the Ghibli, a shorter wheelbase version of the latter, both now powered by a 3.8-liter V8 twin-turbo engine with maximum output of 580 horsepower at 6,250 RPM and 730 newton meters of torque. They joined the Levante Trofeo, also powered by the same engine, developed by Ferrari to Maserati specification, but now with new rear lights and upgraded infotainment system, plus new design features. All three Trofeos boast of being the fastest Maserati stable with the Quattro Porte and Ghibli capable of 326 km per hour and the Levante capable of 302 km per hour. Highlighting Maserati's all-Italian identity, the Trofeo Trio was launched in Italy's tri-colors Quattro Porte Green, Levante White, and Ghibli Red. In Trofeo Trim, all feature a front grille with twin vertical bars in black piano finish, carbon fiber in front air ducts and rear extractors, red detailing inside air vents, and trident on the C pillar. The Quattro Porte and Ghibli sport 21-inch aluminum Orion rims, while the Levante rolls on 22-inch Orion wheels. All feature full-grain Pienofiore leather for upholstery and interior trim. 
I'll also get advanced driver assist system, launch control, with the Quattro Porte and Ghibli getting the Corsa button for sportier driving. They also come with Maserati Intelligent Assistant, Multimedia Touchscreen, 10 inch in the sedans, 8.4 inch in the Levante, as well as the Maserati Connect. Ghibli and Quattro Porte Trofeo will be built at the Avocato Giovanni Agnelli plant at Grugliasco. The Levante Trofeo at the Mira Fiori plant, both in Turin, Italy. There is a new Ford in town. The new territory adds to an already strong Ford lineup in the local market. The new Ford Sport Utility Vehicle slots where the Escape used to be, just above the Echo Sport in both size and price point. It is powered by a 1.5-liter EcoBoost gasoline engine, generating 143 PS and 225 newton meters of torque sending power to the front wheels via a continuously variable transmission with sport mode. The new territory is available locally in two trim levels, the top-of-line Titanium Plus and the Trend. It has all the modern touches for an SUV from, among many others, LED headlamps, daylight running lights, front and rear fog lamps, panoramic moonroof, smart entry and push button a 10-inch fully digital display instrument, in-vehicle infotainment display powered by a 10-inch touchscreen with adjustable quad view, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto compatibility. The territory also comes with the Ford Copilot 360 that includes active park assist with parallel parking and the segment-first perpendicular parking, 360-degree round view monitor. It's now available in four dealerships nationwide at an introductory retail price of 1,179,000 pesos for the Trend variant and 1,299,000 pesos for the Titanium Plus variant. All customers purchasing the Ford Territory until September 15, 2020 will get a free three-year scheduled service plan for a worry-free ownership experience. Mitsubishi reports a great July month for sales. According to Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation, or MMPC, it sold 3,149 vehicles in July, a 39% increase from total sales in June. The improvement in sales was led by the Mitsubishi Expander, with 1,038 units sold in July, a 63% increase over June sales. The Strata pickup also had a great July, with 1,083 units sold, reflecting a 58% increase in sales in the months compared. Mitsubishi also sold 517 L300 units, a 19% increase, 496 units of the Montero Sport, a 27% increase, 13 units of the Pajero, and one unit of a vehicle just classified as others. We at Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation very much appreciate the significant sales improvement achieved in the month of July, not just for the Mitsubishi brand, but for the entire automotive industry. The progress represents the commendable capability of the Philippine market to adapt during these trying times, said Mutsuhiro Oshikiri, MMPC President and CEO, in a press statement. Michael Bolton will be coming to Asia for the first season of Asian Dream, an all-new reality talent show in search of the Subaru ambassador who will join the singing superstar in his Asian Dream tour. According to Motor Image, regional distributor of Subaru cars, Asian Dream will be a seven-episode series with six aspiring singers from Hong Kong, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam competing to become the Subaru ambassador. We have six artists offering different 
touch of strengths and power and elements that are attractive. And we're trying to basically help them hone their skills to become better uh, singers and interpreters of songs. It's been a lot of fun, actually. Along with special guests, Bolton acts as coach, mentor, and judge during the series, which will see contestants voted out of a competition starting on the second week. From the Philippines, Bolton is joined by Morissette Amon, a Filipina singer and actress, as they help shape contestants to become more versatile, well-rounded performers. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I'd be able to collaborate with the Michael Bolton. <laughs> and um, it's very inspiring getting to know Michael and just getting to work with him in a this closely, especially when we were in Singapore last year for like a whole month. We got to see each other every day. And although we talked a lot, a lot about just the competition and the contestants, we would also have conversations about just like I'd be getting advice also from Michael. And these are things that you don't get to experience all the time. So I just really treasure getting to collaborate and work with Michael every chance that I get. So I'm also very thankful to just Subaru and Mr. Glenn Tan and everyone in the team for just making it happen for me as well. Asian dream creator Glenn Tan said the show will be an excellent showcase for aspiring talents who display grit, perseverance, and commitment, traits that resonate with the Subaru brand. Asian Dream, brought to you by Subaru Asia. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. What do we go for? We go for experience. We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020-2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Pickup truck owners are known to like upgrading and modifying their vehicles, increasing ride height tweaking suspension systems, adding more lights, getting custom wheels and tires. Maybe that's why pickup makers and distributors release special variants that come standard with what are usually considered aftermarket add-ons and give them cool names. Let's check out two special pickup variants in our head-to-head -head feature. One from Chevrolet, the Colorado Trail Boss, the other from Isuzu, the D-Max Bundok. Chevrolet has the Colorado as its entry in the mid-size pickup truck segment. Isuzu has the D-Max. Both have come out 
with special variants to generate fresh interest in the model and help propel sales. The Chevrolet dubbed its special Colorado variant the Trail Boss. Isuzu calls its special DMX variant the Boondock Edition. In these head-to-head spec-to-spec compare, we take a look at both the Colorado 4x2 Trail Boss and the DMX Boondock 4x4. The Colorado Trail Boss is on the large side of the mid-size pickup market at 5.347 meters long, 2.132 meters wide, and 1.785 meters at its highest point. It has a long 3.096 meters wheelbase and a ground clearance 220 millimeters rolling on 265 by 60 R18 tires wrapped around black 18 inch by 7.5 rims with a suspension system that features independent double wishbones with coil spring and gas shock absorbers in front and axle suspension with leaf springs in the rear. The Trail Boss cargo bed measures 1.534 meters by 1.484 meters by 0.466 meters. The D-Max Bundock with bulked up bumpers and fenders plus roof rails is 5.295 meters long, 1.860 meters wide, and 1.9 meters tall. It has a 3.095 meter wheelbase a minimum ground clearance of 247 millimeters using 265 by 70 R17 all-terrain tires wrapped around 17 inch matte black alloy wheels and a suspension system featuring independent double wishbones with coil springs in front and semi-elliptical leaf springs in the rear while using monotube nitrogen charged shock absorbers. The Bundock 4x4 comes with a cargo extender, making the cargo bed measure 1.485 meters long, 1.53 meters wide, and 0.558 meters deep. The Colorado Trail Boss is powered by the Duramax 2.8 liter inline four cylinder diesel engine with double overhead cam, 16 valves CRDI, VGT, and intercooler. The Euro 4 engine generates a maximum 200 horsepower at 3,800 revolutions per minute and 500 newton meters of torque at 2,000 RPM. All that power and torque is sent to the rear wheels by a 6-speed automatic transmission with active select and manual mode. The brake system uses front vented discs and rear drums. The D-Max Bundock 4x4 is powered by a 4-cylinder blue power diesel engine with turbocharger and intercooler that generates 177 PS at 3,600 revolutions per minute and 380 Newton meters of torque at 1,800 to 2,800 RPM. The six-speed manual transmission with gear shift indicator transmits all that power and torque to the two rear or all four wheels. Shifting from two to four wheel drive is easy with the Terrain Command Select dial, even at speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. Stopping power comes from a brake system that uses front ventilated discs and leading and trailing drums in the rear. The Trail Boss distinguishes itself from the rest of the Chevrolet Colorados with black badge on black front grille and in the rear and black fender flares. It also comes with sports bar, side running board, trail boss decal and Colorado tailgate decal, body colored B pillars and door handles. The trail boss features halogen multifocal headlamps, front fog lamps, frameless variable intermittent wipers, body color side mirrors with integrated turn signal power adjust. Added exterior features include bulb type taillight, an LED high mount stop lamp, bed liner high impact protection, and cargo hooks. The D-Max Bundock is easily distinguished by the decals and graphics depicting Mount Apple, the tallest active volcano in Mindanao and the Philippines. It comes with bi-LED protector headlamps with integrated daytime running lamp, dark gray radiator grille, engine hood garnish, front bumper guard, lip type over fender, side molding, and steel honeycomb side step boards with the Bundock logo. LED combination lamps, a bold Bundock graphic, and high mount stop lamp define the rear. 
The Trail Boss comes standard with remote keyless entry, speed sensing power door locks, and manual climate control. The cabin features seats for five upholstered in jet black and ash colored cloth that match the interior panel and complements the dark neutral center console. The driver and front seat passenger get four way manually adjustable seats with headrests. The bench type seat for the three in the back splits and folds 60 40. The leather wrapped steering wheel tilts and features switches for calling and the audio volume. The instrument cluster provides, among other information, trip meter, range, fuel consumption, battery voltage, oil life, gearbox oil temperature. Also standard in the Trail Boss are two 12-volt electrical outlets and a rear window defogger. The infotainment system features a 7-inch Chevrolet MyLink touchscreen system that is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, plays both audio and video, connects with USB or Bluetooth, and has radio tuner. The Bundok comes with a passive entry and push start stop system, which means no need to take keys out of pocket to unlock the doors or to start the engine. The roomy double cab houses comfortable perforated leather seats, front bucket seats with adjustable headrests, back pockets and convenience hooks. The rear seats for three feature a cushion that splits 60-40 the backrest comes with two adjustable headrests and a center armrest. The dashboard and instrumentation comes with multi-information display. Infotainment uses an 8-inch full-touch monitor that plays CD, DVD, radio tuner. It has Bluetooth and iPod connectivity, a navigation system, as well as an auxiliary in jack, USB portal, and AV in. The unit is tire pressure monitoring system ready. There are buttons on the leather-wrapped three-spoke steering wheel to control the infotainment system. Also standard in the Bundocks are air conditioning, power windows and door locks, 15 storage compartments, 10 cup holders, a 12-volt accessory socket, and three USB charging ports. The Trail Boss comes with passive and active safety features that include three-point ELR seatbelts with pretensioners and force limiter for driver and front seat passenger, three-point ELR seatbelts for the second row passengers, dual airbags, side door impact beams, anti-lock brake system, electronic brake force distribution, limited slip differential, and engine immobilizer. The Bundok also comes with the surfate of safety systems. These include, among others, ABS, EBD, brake assist, brake override system, electronic stability control, traction control system, hill start assist, and hill descent control. Driver and front seat passengers are protected by front dual airbags and ELR seat belts with pretensioner and low limiter. All three passengers on the second row get three-point ELR seatbelts. Also included are child lock and child seat anchors. The Bunda also comes with a reverse sensing system complemented by reverse camera. Can the pickup truck market rebound from the months of lockdowns? Special virus like the Chevrolet Colorado Trail Boss and the Isuzu D-Max Boondock should help maintain interest in the pickups. Fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. 
Aside from its famed paella, the Ilustrada restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Ilustrada restaurant, only for the foodies. The Mitsubishi Mirage We go for excitement. We go for sport. We go for style. We go for fun. We go for the new Toyota WeGo. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The all-new Defender has arrived in the Philippines, and it should make a lot of Land Rover guys in the country happy. Land Rover believes birds of the same Defender flock together on some lonely trail. Will the new Defender enlarge the flock? The all-new Defender has reached local trails, unveiled simultaneously along with other countries in Asia during the recent regional online launch. The arrival of the 21st century iteration of the iconic Defender is a happy event for the local Land Rover faithful. The Defender has had a rich and varied history in the Philippines and has a great following and loved by Filipinos. We are delighted to be finally unveiling the most anticipated new car of the year. The all-new Defender really emanates the Filipino spirit of adventure and is now the perfect vehicle to handle both start-stop world of city traffic and also ideal for the trips away from the city. The Defender has a rich history in Asia, starting when it was the only vehicle capable of going to places no other motorized vehicles could go. People began to love the Defender for its dependability and durability in almost all kinds of terrain and weather. Over its 70 year history, Defender has captured the hearts and minds of our customers, achieving iconic status. Since its launch in 1948, the series Land Rover and Defender models have built an undisputed reputation for their ability to conquer the most arduous terrains. Now the time has come for a new Defender, a vehicle of epic capabilities, both desirable and incomparable. When we designed the new Defender, the challenge was to capture the essence of the originals while making it relevant to the demands of today's world. Another challenge was to make the Defender appeal to a larger market beyond the people who love to go on outdoor adventures, often in untroded. From sketch to clay model, then to prototype, and then testing, Land Rover designers and engineers strove to broaden the Defender's appeal, something they believe they have achieved with the all-new Defender unveiled in Asia. Uh, it's just a car that has a, a very broad appeal and um, it, it gives that level of confidence that you can take the car anywhere and it will always feel uh, appropriate in any situation. So 
I, I truly believe that the, the character and, uh, and the spirit of this new Defender will appeal greatly in, uh, with uh, our um, customers in Asia. The new Defender arrives in Asia already connected to the digital world, designed and built with an Ethernet and electrical architecture, as well as advanced all-terrain technologies. So the new Defender is the Defender for 2020. It has absolute state-of-the-art electrical architecture. It has a new infotainment system. It can speak over 20 languages. It's fluent across the globe. It's got an Ethernet backbone. It's got broadband safety features. So the system for unlocking the cars is broadband, ultra wideband. It is incredibly safe. But the fact this car is always on, always connected, always up to date is absolutely key. And in 2025, you will be able to upgrade your 2020 Defender to the latest HMI, the latest functionality, and the latest features. So this car is absolutely ready for the future. The Defender appears to be also ready for the new normal of post-COVID-19 world. It also has state-of-the-art filtration systems inside the car. We all care about the environment. We all want to be in our tranquil sanctuary. We want to be in our bubble. And we focused on launching this new Defender with state-of-the-art system to deionize and filter the air before it comes in. The air inside of the car is better than you will breathe in most of the cities across the world. Definitely, definitely by a long way. Jaguar Land Rover is confident the all-new Defender will be embraced by Land Rover and Defender enthusiasts in Asia while expanding its reach among those looking for a comfortable and connected daily drive that can also take them on occasional off-the-beaten-track forays. So I think there is a strong emotional connection with this car. Uh, and it, you know, it has an important legacy. The, 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 the Defender model, the early series Land Rovers um, that the Defender evolved from. You know, if you take this part of the world in particular, uh, late 40s through the 50s, um, really the only vehicle that was fit for purpose, that could handle the very difficult conditions here, was a, was a Land Rover, was an early Land Rover and subsequently a Defender. Jaguar Land Rover Philippines is particularly confident the new Defender will attract new members to the local Land Rover community. Interest in the new Defender has been far beyond our initial expectation. And we have been so surprised at just how many Filipinos already know and understand what the Defender is and the spirit of adventure it creates. For us Filipinos, we love the Defender as it represents adventure, but also it feels like an extension of the family as it is as much involved in our daily lives. And for many owners, it has been in the family for so many years, we develop a bond with it. This is such a unique thing with the Defender, and our family values are really important to us. So Defender naturally becomes an extension to the family. For us as the retailer of Land Rover in the Philippines, the arrival of the new Defender allows us to reach a whole new client base, as well as reunite with clients who have been eagerly waiting for the return. The breadth of capability of the new Defender allows us to attract the whole cross-section of buyers who are looking for the practicality of daily ownership, a tough, safe, and comfortable vehicle capable of handling the daily stresses. However, we'll instantly adopt when the customer wants to get out and enjoy life to the full, to really live out our brand promise of going above and beyond. It is particularly telling that the all-new Defender was unveiled on a rocky riverbed somewhere in the boondocks. Local Land Rover communities have been holding regular off-road forays for decades now. We won't be surprised to see this all-new model in one off-road venture in the near future.
Be part of the 2020-2021 Autofocus People's Choice Awards, the only nationwide poll to determine the country's most popular car brands and models. It's easy. Log on, then vote for as many as five different models that you believe should become the 2020-2021 Autofocus Automobile of the Year in separate standard and premium luxury categories. Vote every day until September 30, 2020. The Autofocus People's Choice Awards. Who will win? You choose, you decide. Vote now. Mitsubishi Strata Athlete. Unleash the athlete. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. In this second car review, we're taking a look at Mazda Philippines' newest addition to its SUV family, the CX-8 Signature. Let's find out about its power and capabilities. The exterior of the CX-8 looks like it falls between the exteriors of the CX-5 and the CX-9, and yet it successfully shows off an identity of its own while also showcasing Mazda's Kodo design. Let's get into the details. For one, the front fascia, especially the chrome bar grille, is almost the same to the CX-9s. The adaptive LED headlamps are both functional and aesthetically pleasing. When it comes to its body size, the CX-8 is bigger than the CX-5 and slimmer than the CX-9, which makes it the perfect size for a midsize SUV. Other exterior features of the CX-8 include power liftgate, rain-sensing wipers, power adjust and power fold side mirrors, and dual-type exhaust tailpipe. The CX-8 powers through the road with 19-inch alloy wheels. Next up, the interior. Because the CX-8 is longer in size, it offers generous cabin space. Thanks to the deep red Napa leather interior, the CX-8 feels premium. For the seats, the driver's seat is 10-way power adjustable with memory while the front passenger seat is available in six-way power adjustable. When it comes to the infotainment system, it is highlighted with the Mazda Connect with Commander Control that is available in two USB, Bluetooth, DVD, and smartphone mirroring connectivity. Audio is courtesy of the 10-speaker Bose sound system. It also offers Bluetooth hands-free for added convenience. It's now time to check out what's under the hood of the CX-8. For our variant here, the Signature, it runs on a Skyactiv G 2.5 liter inline four-cylinder DOHC engine that is capable of producing 190 PS of power at 252 Nm of torque. These figures are coupled 
with Sky Active Drive, six speed automatic with sport mode, equipped with G vectoring control, which sends all power to front wheel drive. Now let's have a look at the safety and security features of the CX-8. The CX-8 comes equipped with anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, child lock protection, smart keyless entry system, dynamic stability control, front and rear parking sensors, 360 degree view camera, and six airbags. That wraps up our second car review this week, featuring the Mazda CX-8 Signature, a powerful SUV from the well-loved brand. Know more about your car and how to take care of it, here on Autopedia. Speed Lab, it's not all about making cars go fast and more horsepower, more torque and all of that. It's Oh, we also do boring stuff like maintenance, like on this 2009 Montero. It's a 10-year-old car. The things start to happen. Noises start to come out. You'll hear tok 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 ting 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 nyik nyik nyik. That's normal for pretty much any car. Anything mechanical that moves will eventually develop some sort of sound because it's wear and tear over time. Uh, we already took this car out for a test drive and from initially what we can tell, steering rack needs work because when you turn it, there's a tok 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 sound. And when you brake, there's also a clunk sound. So that means we have to check the brakes as well. It's actually, you don't have to wait for the various sounds to come out. The reason why it's called PMS is called Preventive Maintenance Service. You prevent it from happening before it happens. So very good example, stabilizer bushings. These normally wear out anywhere from a year to about three years depending on the car. You don't have to wait for it to have a sound. But the bad part about being in the Philippines is hindi pa sira yan, wag mo palitan. Thereby, there is no prevention that's happening. Pag sira na, saka mo papalitan. That is always the mentality of the Filipino people. Kasi hindi sira, bakit ko papalitan, gastos lang yan. And then when you ask for an estimate from the CASA of the preventive maintenance schedule, they include a lot of things. Uh, let's say stabilizer bushing, shock absorber, axle boot, in a CV joint, shock mounting, all of these things are not broken yet, but may about to break, will break, can possibly break. And then you get surprised of the bill. Oh, but ang dami. So it's more of a culture thing more than anything else. So if you really want a properly maintained car, even if it's not broke, you change it. <laughs> the CASA's job is to maintain your car. Maintenance means you keep it running problem free. Things like weird sounds coming from the suspension, there is already a problem. When the CASA gives you an enormous long list of things that need to be changed, it is because it is what, let's say, Honda or Toyota, the factory gives them, okay, at X number of kilometers, change this, change that, even if it's not broken, for worry-free performance for the next X number of kilometers or miles. This may look very daunting to almost anyone. Your car is in pieces. But that's the thing about cars. As long as it moves, it will break down, it will wear out. And the only real way to tell if a part is really worn out is not just by looking at it. You have to take it out and test it. A very good example is this one. Most everybody knows this is a shock absorber. This is what happens to a shock when it's not working. I mean, it looks okay. There's no leak. Physically and visually, everything looks fine, but... <laughs> you should be able to push it down easily and it should go up. Well, I can't push it down and it don't go up no more. So, it is absorbing no shock in your car. So, the result is actually matalbog yung koche or matagtag. In this case, it's matagtag because it is resisting the motion of the spring. So this shock is effectively throw away. Other small things that get broken are almost always rubber related. 
the metal itself, let's say this one, this is the wall joint. Itong bakal hindi naman nasisira to eh. I mean, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, overall this is fine. But the bearing inside here is actually a cup and a ball. Over time, pag gumagalaw, it wears out and gets loose. This, I should not be able to move by hand. Hindi dapat malambot to, dapat matigas to. And then, the easiest way to figure it out if there's something wrong with it, you hit it really hard like this. This happens when you steer the car, so in this Montero's case, sabi niya, pag todo liko, may tumutunog na, tok, tok, tok. Chances are, it's this one. So, that's another thing. Small, non-critical items are like this one, steering axle boot. If this is still on the car, physically, okay, okay naman ah. But only pag tinanggal mo, dun mo malalaman na punit na pala. And oil, grease will leak out through here. And pag nawawalan ng grasa, umiingay yung pyesa. So we're changing it with a new one. Fresh and new. No hole, no nothing. Other items that have ball joints like this one, this is also part of the, the steering assembly. This is also soft. I should not be able to move this by hand, so... Should not make that sound also. So, tapo na rin to. We have replacement parts for pretty much anything uh, available on the market. If the casa has it, there's always an equivalent replacement part. Cheaper than casa, pretty much just as good also. Other things that we look out for are items that get worn out, like here, brake shoe. This is especially true for drum brake cars because it is behind the brake shoe, as in hindi mo nakikita. Part of periodic maintenance actually involves taking this entire thing out and physically checking the brake shoe here. This, by the way, is already, we replaced the brake shoe and this is the original size, ganun kakapal. This is what your brake shoe is now, less than half the size already, so palitin na. And among other things, that brake rotors for the front. As you notice, this is very shiny right now because this has been refaced. This is the cheaper way to do it. You can actually reface rotors up to about two times before they get too thin to reface and then you have to replace it because this does get worn down over time. So this is still fine. Most of the kalampag and other things that you mo while driving is pretty much suspension related. So, periodic maintenance means visually checking each and every part by a shop that knows what it's doing. And then, if needed be, take out the part to physically inspect it and test like what we just did a while ago to see if it's still working as it should. This also why if you delay periodic maintenance and then wait until na medyo madami ng sira, when you ask for an estimate from the casa or another shop, mahaba yung listahan. Eh, madaming sira eh. And can you tipid yung paggawa? Of course you can. No, gagawin mo lang to. Ayaw mo to kasi mahal. Ayaw mo rin to kasi mahal. Ito, tsaka na to. But just like a person, you cure one ailment, the rest of the ailment are still there. Madadamay at madadamay yan. Brake pad is actually here. Manipis na rin eh. That's less than half. New brake pads are like this. Old brake pads versus new brake pad. This is what's left on the old brake pad. This is what a new brake pad is. So, times two. Yes, they are now ceramic brakes. There are no more metallic brakes. There are no more asbestos brakes as some of them old timers may remember. So, it's pretty much this one. They're all ceramic now. So, the noise and other weird noises are pretty much a thing of the past already. <laughs> this is what's the inside of your drum brake. Looks pretty daunting. This is the one that does the handbrake. This is the piston. Pag tumapak ka ng preno, fluid goes here. Bumubuka to para itulak dun sa brake shoe. That's what actually does the braking. This thing here is the handbrake. Yung ratatatat, narinig mo, ito yun. <laughs> here, fresh delivery from KYB Philippines, we have a set of new shocks for the Montero. This, by the way, is a KYB XLG. XLG is their line of OEM quality replacement shock absorbers. And they are most normally known as KYB Color Black. Very simple. And it has to look exactly the same as your original shock absorber. Kailangan pareho itsura nito. Pag hindi pareho itsura, hindi papasok sa kotse. Same height, same everything. 
you know, remember the shock where it is so hard to push down <coughs> and don't go up your new shock absorber should be fairly easy to push down and goes back up this one will give you back the right comfort in your car okay our maintenance on the Montero is done we've replaced a bunch of items in the suspension most notably the shock absorbers uh, the rubber bushings underneath stabilizer you know, links and some of few maintenance items like axle boot it's torn we replace that and almost all the kalampag and noise and tick 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 tok 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 sounds are not present anymore i won't say it drives like brand new but it definitely drives a lot better than before it came into the shop and had all of this done then after everything we put it on the dyno again and then we retuned it so we got 200 horses uh, not bad for a 10 year old car so once again like the name says pms preventive maintenance service you prevent the it from breaking down so bago masira palitan wag yung pilipino way na pagsira at saka papalitan so here at speed lab we not only do uh, racing and performance stuff we actually do maintenance also the boring things uh, change oil spark plug engine overhaul we have to do also because first and foremost if you want more power from your car, you have to make sure that your car is running well and in good condition first. You can't make a car more powerful if there's a bunch of problems wrong with it. So we have to address that and that's what we do also. Anything mechanical as far as engine and suspension related is concerned, we also do that. Have a problem with your car, weird noises, bring it over to the shop so we can test drive it and most importantly we can hear what the sounds are because you can message us through Facebook also. but saying something like may ingay yung kotse ko at may kalampag does not really help us in diagnosing what the noise is so it's better to bring the car in for us to see test drive you drive it you let us hear what the noises are and then together we can look at the car and we can point out oh ito 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 this 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 is the potential problem this is what we see it may tulo it may tagas and all of that so at least you get a first hand view and what exactly is wrong with your car and to know that, okay, these are the things that I need to replace. That's our feature on Olopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.